Weather alert day. We're expecting severe weather across parts of the area, so showers and thunderstorms get underway. We'll be tracking these pretty closely. Right now, temperatures are in the low 70s. There are a few spots where skies remain dry, but that will not last for long. And coming up in a few minutes, we'll talk about the leftovers of the tropical system, Laura, and how it affects our area for the first part of the weekend. Temperatures will be below 80 degrees today. And again, grab the umbrella because storms are expected throughout the day. I'll have much more in the AccuWeather 7-day forecast. All Montessori schools throughout New Jersey will be offering the same thing, either all virtual or five days a week inside a school building. And many of the protocols they put into place to make summer camp successful, they will be putting into play for the school. It's impacting our peace and quiet on this Saturday. An AccuWeather alert day, huh, Amy? It is. I did not arrive on a party bus, so please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Charles, you don't need to be an art expert as we celebrate the, uh, the, the mat reopening and all those sort of things to know it's going to be a great day. I'm Mike Marza. Let's get right over to meteorologist Amy Freeze. So we're talking about Laura. Laura yeah. lurking around. That's what we're seeing here, the remnants of? Yes, exactly. And you're mentioning Coming up, we'll look at the future cast. We'll show you where it's more, most likely to occur. And great news for the second half of the weekend. Skies clear out, humidity is low, and it feels just right. 78 tomorrow. I'll have details of all this coming up in the full forecast, Michelle. So good. All right. Thank you so much, Amy. We turn now to that developing story sending shock waves across the entertainment world. Fans of actor Chadwick Boseman are in mourning. The 43-year-old Black Panther star has now lost his four-year-long battle with cancer. Many didn't even know he was sick. ABC's Jason Nathanson reports. Sure. It's coming right back to New York City. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, who better, is accepting visitors for the first time since March with some major safety changes and some restrictions, of course. Your positivity there was fantastic. <laughs> right there, right there. I'm Michelle Charles with meteorologist Amy Freeze. Reopen in New York City. Today, the Metropolitan Museum of Art reopens its doors to visitors with some changes, of course. Eyewitness News reporter. Good, sir. Pause up. It's going to be a stormy afternoon. The pets need to be ready for the storm, just like the people do. And Fitz has the right idea, I think. Steph sent in her cat snuggled into the covers. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. We've got Allie looking quite beautiful hanging out on the stoop. Get inside, you little kitty cat. And we've got Frank also cuddled up and curled up. Katie sending in via Twitter. And finally, it's Chompers sent in from Christy. So thanks for sending in your pet pics. We'd love to see.